you chubbers! Right then, this is my little grey Fergie with Jack, the doggy, golden retriever, who's now turning into a cow and eating grass. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do, I've been slowly and painfully restoring the little grey, the TEF20. Uh, it needs an engine rebuild. Last time I started it, it revved its nuts off and I couldn't switch it off. So basically, it's burning its own engine oil. So it's going to have the engine reconned. And if you've seen the core plug, video that I did on it when I did the core plug it's all cooked up on the inside as well so there's a couple of things so I decided right get the engine geek on I just want to set the engine out for me and do it I can't find anybody so a friend's going to come up and he's going to remove the engine for me and then the engine's going to be sent off and the engine's going to be reconditioned so I'm just going to take a few photos and the rest of, of, of the actual engine removal uh, first thing I'm going to do is take the radiator off I shall do that myself Simple things I can do myself, but I'll give you a quick tour of the tractor as well. So it's all looking good. There is a diesel leak somewhere here. I think the bottom of the the tank's leaking because I've painted all that and it's all leaked out again a little bit. Uh, again on a previous video, if you can see down here, maybe not. I'll come under here. If I come under, you can see that that's cracked there where the uh, chain goes so I was a little bit worried about that so because it's cast iron it's difficult to weld so I've put a chain on the outside as well and the chain on the outside is shorter it'll come to the end of that before it comes to the end of that basically so that will relieve a little bit of stress because there that is only in a couple of threads that, that bolt it's only in a couple of threads so I'm thinking a good whack with the chain and it'll pull that straight out so uh, with it being this way with it this chain being slightly shorter that should prevent that any luck because uh, it's very difficult to weld cast iron but we're all looking good we're all looking good no major problems around this side so yeah, that's my little grey Fergie, and um, better luck, it'll be on the road again sometime soon with a with a reconned engine. And then all I've got to do is sort out the number plate. I want the original number plate on him, because uh, I live in Ellesmere, Shropshire, and this tra I'm its third owner, and it's always been in Ellesmere. This tractor's lived in Ellesmere all its life. It's just, it's just been on three different farms in Ellesmere. Well, I'm not really a farm, I'm a small holding, but yeah, I'm the third owner. Always lived in Ellesmere, it'd be nice to have its original number plate as well. Right, here it goes. That's the first bit done nice and easy. Radiator off and that fuel tank off. Let's put the bolts back in, just so I don't lose them. They'll probably uh, go over the engine, so I've took them off and put them in the fuel tank. Right, looks like it's going to chuck it down in rain now, so I might go in for a bit. Just a quick tip before you take the electrics off, always label stuff up. So I've, I've labelled that up, alternator, there's not much on it. Starter motor and heater plug. Uh, now with the grey Fergies, there's not an awful lot on it. So it's a heater plug, starter motor and alternator, that's about it. But I have done jobs in the past with the Land Rover, where I've taken all the electrics to pieces. And it always seems dead easy, and then you go to work, come back a week later and go, um... Uh, so the other thing is, if you take photographs or video it, then you know where everything went. All you've got to do is look at the photographs again, should you forget. Right, that's everything disconnected. Uh, all the linkages and fuel pipes all done. I started from one side to the other, so all I've basically got to do is undo. I've got to take the arms off, but I'll have them there just in case I need to move it for now. All I've basically got to do is undo these that go all the way around the casing now. But starting from here, oil pressure pipe, the fuel, I undid that one because that one wasn't turning on the spanner. I've done that one. Undone this, which goes to there. Undone the engine cutoff, which is here. All the linkage, which is here, has been removed. Linkage goes from here to, to there, it's been removed. All the 
pipes been removed. Uh, again, there's a linkage that goes from here to here. Stuff from there to there has been removed. That's that one there. From there to the engine there. Come around. All the electrics which are labelled up. Fuel filter has been removed. With the valve, I had to, I had to remove that there. I wasn't having much luck removing it at the other end. The starter motor switch rod gone. Um, so it's all it's all removed now. The sails I've got to do. I've on I've slackened that off. I've left it on for now just to stop the water getting in because it's going to be like this for now for about a week or two before any more work commences. So stop water getting in. I've just left it on. But all I've basically got to do is undo that. Undo that, and then support it, and undo the bolts here. That one's come out because that was the uh, holding the the pipe for the air filter air cleaner, the oil bath air cleaner. That's holding a bracket, so I'll just take that out anyway. So I've just got to undo all the bolts around the casing now. Uh, obviously support it. I need I need a jack under there and some sort of engine left here once it's separated just got to take the wheels off which are basically one two this side and one two the other side and that's it the engine's off and the engine will be sent off to be reconditioned um also needs to do some of the fuel pump sorry the water pump because the fan belt's not sitting straight i bought a new water pump because it was leaking out the middle and uh, I fitted it but it's clearly the wrong size and look at the fan belt it's going off at an angle so that needs sorting as well I might as well do that whilst it's off right so the next bit is actually splitting the tractor in two basically so there we go there's my little tractor in pieces we just uh, had to take the uh, just disconnected the front rods, well the rods for the uh, steering wheel, and unbolted them. Uh, so basically all it was, oh, we pushed it into the garage, we just undid these. Just get that off. Just connected these. Four bolts on here. One, two, three, four for that off. Um, and then basically we just undid all the uh, all the bolts around here. Come around this side, you'll see it better. Uh, there we go. So basically we just undid all the bolts around there and bought the engine out with me engine crane which is folded up over there now. Uh, and it came off fairly nice and easily. Um, just getting a few parts now. I'm going to do me. That's doing the engine, gonna do my fuel filters. Gonna do the seal, the input shaft seal, whilst that's off as well. The clutch looks good, so he's not gonna to touch the clutch. Uh, and then it's putting all back. The engine's gone now, engine's gonna be two or three weeks away, and then it all goes back together again. Based on the main thing, the tractor is now indoors, which I like, because it's been um, parked up over there where my uh, trailer is. I can see it's all gone blurry. There we go, yeah, where my trailer is, that's where the tractor was. So we're indoors now, which is nice. Uh, it's a lot better for it. I've wanted to get it indoors. Once I get the Grey Fergie going, uh, next mission will be the Land Rover and get that indoors. I need to get the Land Rover indoors. It's getting a bit ropey outside. He's going to go inside, so the plan of action with the garage will be the grey figure will be here, the tractor will be somewhere, uh, the motorbike will be somewhere in the middle, the Land Rover will be on that side. Right, so that's the uh, latest on the tractor. Anyway, better luck, it'll be running soon. So, get the engine two, three weeks' time, get the engine back, uh, and start putting it all back together again. Right, thanks for watching, and have fun. Bye bye.